Hey everybody, welcome back. James T here with another update on my 2006 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Today I'm going to be installing Custom Dynamics Lash Lights. Replacing these reflectors with something that gives me a little more visibility. Alright, let's get this started.
All right, we finally got everything installed. Check it out. I haven't done the electrical part yet, but I got the physical part done. Walking through the gateway, Brian noted the solid construction of the All right, I am going to show you some subtle differences in installing the Custom Dynamics Lash Lights on a 2006 Harley Davidson Road Glide. It's the same, but it's different. A lot different. It's a lot more involved. Let me remove this first so I can show you. I successively have installed the lights having some issues, but let me show you what I'm talking about here. Take this off. Okay. Now, let me get the camera so I can show you what's going on. Like I said, this is a 2006 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And the latch here does not come off like the later ones. I don't know when they changed the design, but it's significant. In order to remove this latch, you actually have to remove the locking mechanism here. You have to take this screw out. It's not off here. And you have to remove these two nuts, these two here, one here and one here. It's the only way you can get this latch off. And not only that, you have to drill two holes. One three eighths hole in the latch cover and then another one in the plate here. See, that's another 3 8 inch hole so that it comes through because this attaches to that. This metal here is a lot tougher to drill through than the latch itself. I actually had to go to carbon bit drill to get through this stuff. It was a hell of a drill. And for me, what I did, it made it easier to deal with. I completely took off my lids. I just took them off. It just made it a lot easier. I had to remove screws here. It's like five of them. Let's see, can I show you those? Here, 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 and here. Took those off, took the latch off. It made it easier to drill here because with the lid on I, I, I couldn't get to it so I had to take the, I took the lid off so that's a hell of a thing to have to do and find out the hard way it's so it's the same everything else is the same but it's it's different in that regards okay what else is different oh yeah the uh these wires that come from the latch ledge lights to here, they're small and they are very easy to break. And they don't insert into the, they don't, they just don't go in very easy. It took a long time to get them in. And you really, really need something small to push them all the way in or you don't get a connection. So be very careful with that. I already broke one on the other side. As you can see, my yellow wire is busted. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Try to solder it back on, and get it in there. But it's not working, obviously, right now. So be careful with this. They do not go in very easily. It's plug and play. But first, you got to go through the heart, the mechanical stuff to get to the plug and play stuff. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Anyway, there you go. All right. I 
Got everything going, everything is untight. Let me show you here, quick. Nice, come on. I haven't taken the, this off yet. But as you can see, it's working. They don't flash, I gotta get another kit for that. I didn't, I didn't realize that at the time. But at least I got those damn connectors going. I even was able to repair this side. As you can see, I successfully able to solder the yellow back on to the connector. So, that's the closest I'm gonna be able to get. So that side works also. Now I gotta order the kit so that they can flash the run lines and flash. I thought they would at least uh, be turn signals, but they're not. So don't do that. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.